Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, a business applications MVP, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn about timer control, how to create a mark you text using timer control in Canvas app and how to create a flyout menu with slide in and slide out effect using timer control. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, this is the best time to subscribe to my channel to get all the future updates in Power Platform and tips and tricks to make performant artifacts in Power Platform. Let us quickly look at the output. What are we going to achieve by end of this video? We will create a mark you text component to render the text from left to right and right to left with a settings wherein user can change their preference left to right or right to left and also we can increase the speed of the text and provide the text dynamically if we want to pass the text we can pass the text and if we want to play the text we can play the text effectively and then we will also learn how to create a flyout menu with a fly in and fly out effect so we are changing the hamburger menu to cancel icon and cancel icon is getting converted to hamburger menu also how we could create a countdown timer and redirect the user from one screen to another screen automatically without any further delay let's learn one by one i logged on to power apps maker portal the first thing we will be doing is implementing mark you text component i'm adding a new screen before we create the component let us understand the important properties of the timer control in a timer control the most important properties are repeat auto start and on timer and on timer start these are the four properties very important along with the duration how long you want to set the duration for this timer control to run in this scenario what are we going to do create a mark you text that text i want to run from right to left or left to right so initially i'm saying sample and then we will convert this to a dynamic component first understand how we can run the text from left to right and right to left go to the timer and decrease the timer duration to one remember default 6000 is one second now i'm pulling it down all the way to one which is a very 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 less which means i want to run my timer in eye blinking time the second property you need to do is enable the repeat because we want to run this timer repeatedly to move the label from one position to another position what are we going to do we are just moving the x position of the label so i need to compute my x quadrant value dynamically where i can do that is go to timer on timer and in this property i am going to compute my x quadrant value on timer end property of the timer control i am using a update context to compute a variable to move my label from right to left when you examine the formula what i am doing i am creating my local variable using update context and that local variable value is greater than my screen width because the screen name for this screen is screen one dot width then i am subtracting the width of the label and then if it is not so i am increasing the value by 15. let us see what is the value i see as part of this variable i copied to a label to see the value now if you see it is just increasing the value and when it comes to the screen width it is getting down now let us assign that variable to x position of the label and then run the app it is automatically moving from left to right and if we want to change the orientation very simple in the same way we have to change our formula to move my x position from left to right this time i have created a formula to subtract the value earlier when i am moving from right to left i am adding 15 positions of my x quadrant but this time i am subtracting 15 positions 
this 15 is the one which decides the speed of my mark you text now if i play the app it is moving from right to left if i want to move this text little slow just change this value from 15 to 5 now you see it gets slow down that is how we can pass the parameter dynamically to reduce the speed of our mark you text now that we know how to move from right to left and left to right let us create a toggle to switch the directions dynamically go to timer on timer and property here simply write a if condition as toggle one dot value if the toggle one is true i want to move my label from right to left if not i want to move my label from left to right this is the final formula now if i just play the app change the direction if i change my toggle it automatically changing from left to right and right to left since my value on the first quadrant is 15 it is little aggressive if i change that also to 10 and now if you play the app it will be very consistent so this is how we can create a mark you using timer control on the screen if you want to move this as a component you can absolutely move it as a component but unfortunately in components timer controls won't work so you will have to create timer control at the screen level and create all the other parameters at the component how i did that is i have created a component with x position because i can compute my x position as part of my timer on timer end property so i can send that to my component and mark you text i can send it and text color how my text color i wanted to see there and text background color this is something i want to give so that my text will be very predominant last but not least the text orientation these properties i am setting at the screen so that my text will render as my wish coming to this settings these are the settings i am creating a local variables at the time of apply as per the user input and then i am passing these inputs to my component when i come to component come to this parameter my mark you exposition which is what i am creating as part of this settings similarly if you want to hold the timer control what you can do is you can create a variable and set that variable to this timer control initially in our demo we set the timer control to auto start but if i want to start and stop my timer control with the help of a variable how you can do that is you can create a variable by setting a value to false and set that value to your timer control i will be providing this component as part of my github so you can download and you can see the entire code step by step so this is how i am creating my component for mark you the next one is implementing flyout menu with slide in and slide out effect when i click on this it is coming in when i click on x it is going out this is also i am implementing with the timer control but this time my math is very simple initially i am placing my gallery outside my screen how i am doing that is my x position is where i am calculating where i want to place the gallery on the screen load when you see on screen visible i have created a variable as where gallery x value is gallery landing dot width which is going to be my width of the gallery whatever the width that is what i am going to set to my x gallery value but when it comes to the formula what i am assigning if it is true then i am computing my x position of my gallery to move out if you see here there you go it is moving out of my screen since i am 
not playing the app, you don't see that slide in slide out effect. Remember, timer control only works when you play the app. When you do not play the app and click the controls by holding Alt key, you won't see that effect. But if you play the app, that is when exactly the timer control will run. So here, what I'm doing, this is the only formula I am using. But the difference here in this approach is I am not enabling my repeat because I don't want that to happen again and again. I want that to happen only once. Also, I am controlling my start property of the timer control with a variable. And on timer end, I am again computing my flag to switch how I wanted to switch the value. In this, my main formula is only this. I am not doing anything as part of my timer end property. All I am doing is I am just switching my flag. Now, if I play the app, there you go. We can see like that. And also, when you click on any of these options, it should go out appropriately. So now we have understood how to create mark queue. We understood how to create flyout menu. The last one is countdown timer. In this, I am computing my value simply with this formula. The formula here is countdown timer duration minus countdown timer value divided by 1000. So what? It is coming down. But in other scenarios, when you add the timer control, it will not subtract the timer value from the duration. Since we want it in a countdown fashion, what we will have to do is we will have to subtract the value from the duration of the timer control followed by one second. Now, if I just play the app, it is coming down with one second. And I wanted to reroute the user from one screen to another screen. To implement that, Go to again on timer end property of that timer control and say which screen you wanted to move on. Now I want to move to home screen. So I have mentioned this. This is how if we want to redirect the user from one screen to another screen after all the math we compute on the screen can be achieved. Even in this functionality, we are enabling the timer control auto start because as and when I come onto the screen, I want to run my timer control and auto pass also I said on because once the timer reaches to zero, I want to stop it. Now when I just play the app, the time it comes to zero, it automatically takes me to the landing screen. This is how I can implement the timer control to achieve mark you fly out fly in and redirect the user from one screen to another screen what else we can achieve is we can implement even a image slideshow with the help of a timer control this is one of the video we have already covered on our channel i will be adding the link for this video as part of the description if you have already visited the video thank you for that if you have not got a chance to see this video, please visit this video. In this video, I have explained how we can implement this image slideshow step by step. In fact, in this, I can change the orientation how you want, whether you want horizontal, whether you want vertical. In fact, I can change the behavior of that change. Now, it will get dissolved and it will open a new image. This I have explained clearly as part of that video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned how to create a mark you fly in fly out countdown timer and also how to implement the image slideshow in power apps. If you like the video, hit like, add your comments, subscribe to my YouTube channel for all future notifications. Thank you. Have a nice day.